Uh, concretion is formed when you have an artifact, an iron artifact specifically, in the ocean, um, and the salt water mixes with the metal to create a layer of sand and shells and sediment that forms on the outside. Um, and it's good because it protects the artifact. After we excavate, we bring up the artifact, we'll x-ray it, determine if it's something that we want to actively conserve. Uh, then here, I'm removing the concretion from the artifacts. Uh, this specific one, we have a number of different materials and different objects that have washed together and the uh, concretion is built around it, so they've all uh, settled in uh, next to each other. Uh, we use what's called an air scribe, and it's a pneumatic chisel. Uh, so I chisel off all the concretion until we get down to uh, the surface. This gives me uh, the best control and removing the concretion. Then once it's separated, depending on what it's made out of, uh, will determine the next step for the conservation. Um, currently I'm working on what's called an andiron. Um, it's used in a fireplace, you would have two of them, they would sit down like this and then you would set the logs on top of them. With metals, it's typically electrolytic reduction. Uh, that is, we hook it up to a uh, negative anode uh, and run current into the artifact. That way, when the current is flowing through it, uh, it will leach the salt out into light solution that's merged in, we can gradually get all the salt out of the metal. I like it because it's you're uncovering the artifact for the first time. Uh, you get to see the exact way it was left in, in the ocean and no one has seen it before. I get to see it, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's also just I don't know, it, it makes you feel really connected to the, to the artifacts themselves.